Hello, hello, welcome back to Bite Size Dentistry. I'm Dr. Shrey and I'm thrilled that you guys joined me back here on Bite Size Dentistry. Today we are talking about India's favorite dental painkiller. We're going to be talking about the good, the bad and the ugly about Keterol DT, the tablet that is most popular in India for dental pain. Let's get started. So Keterolic Acid was first discovered as a painkiller in the 1970s in Palo Alto which is also known as Google's headquarters. While initially it was popular for being an IV painkiller, in the 90s it became popular as an alternative to opioids for the control of severe pain in the peak of the opioid crisis which took about 4.5 lakhs lives from 1999 to 2016. We can talk about it in more detail maybe in another episode. Now, chemically, ketorolic acid acts as a non-selective COX inhibitor, which means it has the same spectrum of side effects as brufen, diclofenac, pyroxicam, and all of those, as well as its own side effects, which we'll talk about, as well as COX-2 inhibition, which takes care of pain, fever, inflammation, and all of those fun things. Technically, it is stronger than diclofenac and brufen in the sense that its pain threshold or its pain relieving qualities are even better than these two medicines. They have a quicker onset of action and near opioid level of pain control. The downside being that the effect is short lived, which is about four to six hours. Given this interesting set of characteristics where it has a quick onset as well as no hangover symptoms, it was actually misused in the NFL where tablets were given to patients in half time or during the match so that they could continue playing with their aches and pains without being affected by it while having minimal side effects and not getting caught with drug tests. So the question is how did ketorolic acid become so popular specifically in the field of dentistry? Now it breaks 58% of dental pain is severe and acute and in today's era where everybody wants quick results, having a drug with a rapid onset of action and no drowsiness afterwards becomes very useful. So Ketrol handles intense pain and is rather economical, it's only 8 rupees a tablet, plus minus. Another thing that was kind of interesting is that Dr. Reddy's launched Ketrol DT in India in the 90s, which is in the glorious era of TV marketing, where it disappeared because of being a dissolvable painkiller. So when Ketrol DT was launched, it had two appeals. Number one, that it could be dissolved kind of like Disprint, which made it feel like you were buying something fancy and something cool. And secondly, that term DT most medicines are named in such a complex way but when patients can have just these two letters that they can use to recall something it kind of stuck and that has been kind of the major reason why ketorol dt has become so virally popular now in terms of its clinical usage the safety norms are such that it works in the same side effects as diclofenac paroxicam rufin etc where you want to avoid them in patients with gi issues because of the prostaglandin inhibition you want to avoid them in patients with bp issues because it leads to an elevation of the blood pressure. On top of that, what many people don't know is that ketorolic acid actually has more severe reactions and more common reactions than diclofenac and ibuprofen and is technically less safe than those medicines. There are several incidents of Steven Johnson syndrome and other severe symptoms like that. Some of the precautions that you should keep in mind while prescribing is that number one, never longer than five days because it can precipitate acute renal failure. On top of that, there are almost no studies that validate the use of ketorolic acid in children under 16. Plus, it is always good to be avoided in either women who are pregnant because it can cause fetal kidney damage and on top of that, it can change the pattern of ovulation and hence should be avoided in women that are trying to get pregnant. Some of the classic situations where ketorol DT is absolutely super useful is number one breaking the severe pain cycle. Now, if I feel like a patient is in absolutely severe pain, for example, in a flare up, abscess or pulpitis, and is like in a really bad situation, sometimes Keterol DT is one of the only medicines that has the threshold that can break that cycle and get the whole situation into control. So you can give Keterol DT for immediate relief and then maybe shift them to a longer acting painkiller and having a strategy that is step laddered that way. Number two while traveling. So Keterol DT is non-opioid, so it can be taken when you're traveling to several countries. On top of that, it has a rather quick relief and when combined with an antacid, it's pretty comfortable and pretty safe. Three. Now a lot of studies validate the use of NSAIDs before LA, but pre-operative medication as little as 15 or even 10 minutes before giving your local anesthesia actually increases the efficiency of your inferior alveolar nerve block. And for me, this is the number one indication for Keterol DT. You already know this, but the dose is 10 milligram per tablet 
and what you want to target is a maximum of 40 milligram a day beyond which you need to be considering opioid treatment options. If you're wondering, there's kind of been like a lot of change in this video. I'm wearing a sponsored head cap, which you can find out from uwears.com. On top of that, I just wanted to test the waters uh, while making these initial sets of videos to understand how you guys feel about discussing pharmacology and other things. A lot more endo is coming up soon and stick around for that. I'm sure you'll love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos like I am. I took a short break for a couple of weeks because I was busy with certain other things. I hope to see you guys here next week and we're going to be making one video a week for the rest of the year. Pinky promise. Have a nice day.